Hello, oh, Namaste. Welcome to Greet Arrow. So, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're having an amazing day. So, today's topic is what you don't see coming, the unexpected. Okay, so that is the topic for today. Remember, these are general readings. So, take what resonates and leave the rest behind, guys. And these are timeless as well. So, whenever you watch this reading, might have a message for you. Okay, so as you can see, I have kept three crystal cards to choose from. Okay, so for group number one, uh, we have the orange calcite with the number 40 and you can go with the colors as well okay if you are attracted to a specific color go with that as well okay and for group number two we have the labradorite with 29 number and for group number three we have the hematite with 26 number okay so one two and three so close your eyes relax and choose a pile or a crystal that calls to you intuitively okay so i'm just gonna play this for some of you to relax so you can just choose intuitively okay so yeah take a deep breath guys take a deep breath release all the unwanted energies that we don't need okay just clear your mind just relax just relax I don't know who needs to hear while I was just uh, closing you know while I, was, while I was just playing this I just saw a tent and there was a fire so someone was like hiking like when we go hiking I have never gone okay <laughs> I don't know but I have seen people going on hiking um, making tents and um, sitting there that's the image that I saw maybe for some of you there is some sort of unexpected travel or these kinds of events happening that you you are not expecting okay so yeah so one two three so the timestamps will be in the description box and all the other information regarding my instagram page all will be as well in the description box and the information about the text as well okay so i'm going to start with group number one group number one if you have chosen the orange calcite with number 40 let's see what is the message for you guys what you don't see coming what is the unexpected okay so the first thing is like we have the number 40 and 40 for me like the number four four is like the four wands i'm getting the four of wands energy here with this four four sticks right and uh, when we look at the four of wands in tarot it's all about celebration it's like the house is strong right there is the foundation is strong there is a lot of stability security so for some of you it can be about a relationship that is coming your way that you you're not expecting right now it can be a relationship with full of joy and comfort because the reason why i'm saying joy and comfort is with the orange color and orange color is a combination of the red and the yellow color red is very high pi color very energetic color and yellow is also very shining color right very courageous color so both of these combine and it's like you're getting the joy warmth so maybe it's like in a relationship you're getting a joy joy warmth that you haven't experienced uh, or maybe it's it can be like an improvement in your relationship with your siblings that's something i'm seeing here you know sometimes we feel like that our siblings don't care about us maybe they you fight a lot but one situation will happen in your life where your sibling will be supporting you and you will be like oh my god there was so much love that i was not able to see so that's one thing i feel like that is a little bit uh, uh, there is an unexpected even there okay so like a form of protection you're getting here again we can see the two figures i feel like that that's like i feel like one figure is like protecting the other one right so it's like a, a form of protection you will receive receive from someone that you never hoped yeah it's like you never thought that this person would support you like this will this person will protect you like this so this is very much unexpected uh, maybe you know that they love you but you, you never thought that they care for you this much so it's going to be a little bit unexpected it's going to be very surprising as well okay and again with this orange curl side it's like uh, we have these two sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra so it, it's like a very good time for creating things so if you are going through a creative block and if you if you are like no no new ideas are going to come everything is like not working if you're in that place that's going to change you're getting a lot of ideas so this is the 
this is the phase of birthing new things so, so for some of you this can be an unexpected pregnancy that is also there uh, what I'm, whatever I'm seeing, I'm saying, or maybe uh, this is uh, like in your relationship, like you, maybe your siblings, or maybe someone you thought that will never have a child is having a child. So that is also going to be unexpected. Yeah, or maybe I even feel like maybe there are uh, <laughs> there are friends uh, who will be in love, and you never thought that these two people will be in love. So that's also going to be very surprising and very unexpected. Or for some of you, it's like someone will say some something that that's in their heart, and you never thought that this person had feelings for you. Okay, so yeah, uh, it's 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 like that. That's all I'm getting here with this orange girl side. But one thing is for sure, this is a good time for uh, working on new ideas, for birthing something new. Okay, uh, it's like you got a. You got a land that is very good. The soil is very good. All you need to do is to plant the seeds and it's going to grow. So the ideas that you have, implementing those ideas, go for it because it's, it is going to give you a lot of fulfillment, satisfaction. Okay, again, if a new friend is coming, it's the best thing. Best, best part is like giving us time, investing in that relationship because that relationship is going to blossom and through that relationship, you're going to get a lot of joy, a lot of comfort, okay? And this is the best time for you guys to co-create with the universe, right? What you can do, do it and the rest part, universe will take care. So it's like you need to do it with the universe. You don't have to do everything by yourself or don't leave everything for universe to do so it's like it's the time where we are going in partnership with universe so just give your best and let universe do their part so it's like co-creating with universe so uh, keeping your intentions very very clear working on your ideas with a lot of hope faith you know faith the word i feel like faith means when we don't have any hope that this will work out then that is when faith comes if we don't have any hope that will work that that's that stronger faith should be that yeah we know in in mind this will not work but at at the same time this faith is like this the thing that is not going to happen is going to happen does it make sense right so that is faith it's not like something some something we know that is going to happen and we have faith it will happen it's like some things we know it's not going to happen but we we should have faith that it will happen and it will happen like that how strong a faith is about right faith is not a term like that yeah so sometimes we know that it is not going to happen why i'm explaining this again and again i hope you understand what i meant okay so leave it because i'm like this only i, I try to explain things a lot um, and some of you don't like because i repeat but that's who i am i do it okay <laughs> but i've been trying to control myself okay but you know sometimes when i try to control i'm i'm not able to give that hundred person it's like i'm always focusing on uh, whether I should repeat or not like it it, it, it distracts me so that's why uh, I try when when doing a reading you know it's all channel I'm channeling and I'm just receiving the message sometimes the messages are very repeated as well and I just share it okay I know some of you don't like it uh, but what to do okay this is how I do and I'm trying you know whenever I get some comments I try to improve but but sometimes uh, you need to understand that um, that we cannot take we cannot uh, do you know we cannot make everyone happy I, and i had to remain remind myself that that it's okay some people will not like your work anyway but what we can do we will do you know if we can work on something we will work like uh, in my english language i i, I work on it uh, so it's like whenever someone says something about it i i don't take it personally at the same time i try to work on it and I don't know why I'm saying maybe this is something that you need to hear. So maybe there has been criticism from someone for you, for you guys. So it's like you work on yourself. You try to improve yourself. Uh, you don't have to get offended. You don't have to take it personally. Like what you can do, you do. You do your best. You do it with full intention. Okay, so that's one thing I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's start again <laughs> okay so again with this orange calcite there is a lot of a uh, lot of uh, love also i'm getting love a uh, love energy it's like you are you are believing in yourself because the sacral chakra is very creative chakra and you're getting the confidence to work on the things that you want to work so i'm getting a lot of love and there is also support there it's like you're sharing some ideas with this, uh, this person 
and you're getting an unexpected response like when you used to do it before sometimes people might have told you this idea is not going to work and you here you are sharing an idea that you don't believe in and this person is telling you go for it go for it and you will be like oh my god <laughs> is this person saying me to like i don't have that faith i don't know if it's going to work out and this person is telling me to go for it yeah at that time go for it okay yeah believe believe in the unexpected believe in the impossible right so yeah and that's what i'm getting here so maybe for some of you uh, use a lot of orange color maybe eating orange colored foods will be helpful and again you know in the fast food company they use a lot of orange color to attract people right so this is a very attracting color as well so it's like this is the best time to work on your ideas because it's going to grow because uh, you are in, in this phase where you're going to be at, uh, attracting all the things that you want okay so that's what i'm getting it's like when I mean, fast food uh, they click the pictures and that's so tempting right when we look at it because they use the orange colors it's like we we get attracted to it like that you are on also in this phase where you are getting that attraction so use it use this time so you will be seeing that you are attracting a lot of things a lot of good people a lot of good ideas uh, growth yeah then we have flow yeah we uh, we you know the aqua marine the color is aqua marine and it comes with the with the latin words aqua and marina and it's like sea water the meaning is sea water like again the sea, uh, the sea, sea is not going to stop it it is going to flow it is going to find uh, their way even though it's little slow it's going to find their their way it's not going to be stagnant it's, it's just going to flow right that's what the energy is you are going to flow so this is a new project this is a new idea you don't know where you need to go but as you take one step this thing is going to flow and flow and flow right you you don't have to worry because even though it it might be slow it might be slow but you will be flowing that's what it is so go with the flow don't go against the flow that is also something i'm seeing here uh i'm even getting for some of you you are going to be in energy where you will not be resisting anything you will be also in flow and you will be like yeah thank god i'm not overthinking about this thing i'm just having this faith and i'm going i'm going to go with it so it's like your energy is changing and as your energy is changing you're seeing that things are flowing in your life as this relationship you're not trying to control anything you're like okay i know this person uh let me just talk to them like that uh, yeah they're different from me i'm just going to go like well, for one date you go and you're like okay let me know that person let me go for another date and you go for another date and then you don't have any expectation and then you go for another date and that's how this relationship is building like you are not overthinking about this thing you're not over focusing you're just going with the flow you're meeting this person talking every day and as you're doing it this relationship is also flowing and in no time you will be best friends or in no time you will be in a relationship that is the energy it's like you're not holding too tightly and that's one thing okay yeah yeah we have forgiveness oh wow so maybe for some of you uh it can be that also that something unexpected is like someone is forgiving you maybe they had a uh, a grudge like you did something and they didn't forgive you and now they are forgiving you so that is going to be an unexpected thing maybe your sibling or maybe your parents or maybe uh, someone around you who had some issues with you they, maybe they were not talking to you because you did something if that is the case i feel like as you are not thinking about it too much as you are letting go of it I feel like this person is okay with you and they are going to forgive you that's one thing i'm seeing here and again with this forgiveness comes the other way around where you are not holding any grudge where you are not holding any resentment towards this person and you're forgiving them and as you're forgiving them you're seeing that in your life you are moving forward okay so that's what it is forgiveness is a gift that we give to ourselves you never thought that you will forgive this person but eventually as you're moving forward in your journey you are uh, you're getting an understanding where you are not holding any grudges guilt maybe you are someone who is going for therapy and also you're getting an understanding how this resentment is 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 a blockage in your success and so as you're understanding a lot of things as you're getting a deeper perspective you're actually forgiving them and as you're forgiving them as you're healing you're seeing that 
the things are moving forward in your journey because I see that if you are blocked somewhere even if you're in your relationship you're seeing the relationships are not working I see that there is a flow there if in your career you're not getting any ideas you don't know what to do you will see a flow there the reason is you are forgiving you're choosing peace you're choosing peace over regret over anger over hatred you're cho choosing peace and when we choose peace what happens we become peaceful we have this comfort we start believing in ourselves we are not only holding on to any anger so when we wake up we wake up with good energy so that's what i'm getting here and so you don't have to waste your energy on the ang anger thinking about them instead you are utilizing that energy on your craft on your artistic abilities because i feel like for some of you do have that you're co you're co creating with the universe you're working on your craft whatever do you do it, it is something creative right so yeah you're working on it you're fully focusing on it and that's why you're feeling a lot of peace and comfort in yourself okay so that's one thing i'm seeing here okay yeah let's see then we have four of wands did i talk about four of wands yes again we have the number four here so four number is very important here again we have emperor four right so four 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 is a number and interestingly we have 49 as well so it's in that also there is a four right so uh, yeah in relationship that definitely if in the past uh, you were in relationship where there was no stability security you didn't feel secure in a relationship it's going to change here you will be feeling really secure in this relationship maybe in your friendships you know in the past you never felt like sharing your deepest fears with this person because you felt like this person will judge you even though this person was your best friend that's changing now this friend of yours you will be like, yeah, I can share anything with them because they are going to support me no matter what. It's like that kind of feeling is coming. Yeah, very, very awesome relationships. In these relationships, you will be sharing your heart, your deepest fear. You know that this person is not going to judge you. So there is a change there as well. If you had trust issues, I feel like that is also eliminating as you're forgiving. <laughs> people you are actually trusting people yeah again a celebration some sort of celebration is coming some sort of achievement it can be success in your friendship it can be success in a relationship it can be success in your creative endeavors it can be success success in some sort of like if you are i don't know why i'm getting like that if you're doing ivf or if you're freezing your ex that there, there is some sort of su success there maybe if you're losing trying to lose weight you're getting that success it's like with this emperor you're taking control of your life and you're going with the flow okay and again with this new moon energy i'm getting it's like a new start it's like expecting you are uh, like you're expecting good changes in your life and that is what is happening even though it's unexpected you're expecting it right because you never thought that this will happen but everything is happening okay as i told the faith thing like if you you have a belief that this will happen but at the same time you know that this will not happen but you have that faith this will happen and that faith you had is coming into fruition right does this make sense i don't know but definitely this is what i'm feeling so i shared it okay so yeah uh, so for some of you with this mother of swords there is forgiveness from a mother figure okay maybe for some of you that is the thing like a mother figure who was very soft maybe you did something and it hurt them they were not ready to forgive you they're forgiving you that's one thing or for you guys there is a person who is very strict who who used to say something that hurt you you are forgiving them and as you're forgiving them you're seeing that you're moving forward so it can be any way because this is a general reading so it can be any way yeah so you are forgiving or they are forgiving so this person again mother of sorts um i feel like their tongue you know sometimes the tongue like we use our words if we use our words in a very uh, bad way it hurts a lot the words can hurt right so this person might have said something that might have hurt you so much right and finally you're the healing from that hurt and maybe you had some said something and you regretted it and finally they are forgiving you right so yes there is peace in a relationship so for some of you if you're forgiving them it doesn't mean that you have to talk to them but emotionally you're cutting the codes that's what it is you're cutting the codes 
you're not giving their energy your energy to them anymore okay so yeah that's what it is yeah so yeah so for for some of you it's an unexpected thing that this person is forgiving you maybe they will call you and they will talk to you they will smile at you maybe you never thought that this will happen it's happening so you're very happy about that but it's like you're taking control of your life you're understanding that everything is in your power there is this understanding happening sometimes we feel like we have this faith nothing is in our power we cannot control anything yeah sometimes we cannot control things but other times we can control our thoughts we can control uh, that overthinking thoughts right we can be in the present moment and i feel like you will be doing more of that and as these relationships are coming here as that there, there is a lot of support in your uh, space you will see that you are also changing and you are also getting in this flow state okay then we have elephant again we have this protection can you see that so maybe for some of you that is the unexpected part where you thought that this person doesn't care for you but you will be seeing in a scenario that this person really really cares for you so in the night also you're very protected right the mother is like you have this wings around this uh, owl like this baby owl so they're protecting and they're on the top of the elephant and elephant is taking them so they're very safe he is going to protect them it's like this protection is there is this guardian angel around you protecting you again we have the owl okay so yeah maybe you had a problem with your siblings or your some people and you never thought that they cared for you but you will be seeing that even though you did have issues with them you fought with them they are the ones who are with you in your tough times and you will be like oh my god they really really love for me and you will be you will be also appreciating this relationship a lot okay maybe you you know sometimes we say that when the when we have eyes we don't uh, see the see how much it's important to us but when we lose our eyes we know that how important is it so this can be a, like that kind of a relationship when you were in that you know when these people were around you you didn't take uh, them very seriously you yeah you didn't take them very seriously but but now maybe they are not with you so you're right now you're thinking like oh my god why i did that maybe you're regretting something and now i feel like the unexpected part is like you will see that they really really care for you and they want to protect you now also so that that's one something i feel like that is going to be very unexpected for some of you a very unexpected advice you will get from someone that is going to change your perception a lot that's going to be very much very much um uh, important yeah it, it is going to be very important this advice will be very important for you guys yeah or it can be from a person who is very boss type of energy maybe it's your boss uh, they will they will give you a piece of advice that will be very helpful for you guys okay yeah again we have the owls owls intuition and again they ha- they are very wise they can see in the dark so yeah some sort of advice that will be very helpful for you guys so don't take this advice very lightly keep it to your heart because this will help you okay then assistance again it's all about the support it's all about a uh, it can be assistant assistance from your spirit guides angels that one thing i'm getting here but the other thing is like a support that you you thought that you don't have the support but you have it and that's going to be very unexpected and you don't see it as i told in a form of relationship in a friendship or a love relationship you are getting the support that you never got or maybe as i told you had a fa- fall out with this person but they are now also supporting you and you never thought that they cared for you this much because you didn't care but they cared right and your 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 eyes are going to be opened like oh my god they care for me right now also i said that 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 then also like yeah so it's like they love you a lot for some of you that is going to be very unexpected but over, all over i see that you're going to be in the flow there is there is a there is an opportunity for celebration uh like the four pillars are strong and uh, yeah of course a relationship a twin flame relationship if you believe in it uh, i don't talk about that often but i'm getting that energy as well a soulmate relationship not yeah a friendship like a very soul so you know a person's soul is connected to you like you you can actually communicate by looking into the eyes you don't have to even talk like that kind of uh, relationship okay 
in that relationship you are going to feel well powerful you know a relationship can make us or break us like sometimes we are in relationship and we lose ourselves we are in up in our thoughts in fear and in some relationship we feel confident we feel happy we feel like we can take over the world and do anything because we have this support right and you are entering in that kind of a relationship if you don't have that kind of relationship in your life that is what is coming okay and if about your career as well you know sometimes we don't feel uh, like our career is going smooth we are overthinking about it we are stressing about it we don't we don't have that control over this thing right but here the exact opposite is happening because there is help around you there is help around you this is an unexpected help that is there for you guys and an unexpected support and this support is going to be the very unexpected thing for you guys that you don't see it right now and again this assistance can be as i talked about co creating with the universe that is also the thing that universe is supporting you assisting you but but one person i'm seeing one person is coming your way that is that will give you the support that love that you never have experienced and this will be the most unexpected thing <laughs> okay so that's all i have for group number 1 hope it made sense hope it gave you some clarity and if you like my co content please support my channel by subscribing by liking by sharing uh, so that's all i have and in the description box i have my instagram page link and the text that i am using here will be also there in the description box okay so that's all i have thank you for joining me today bye bye so group number 2 if you have chosen the labrador right let's see what is the message for you guys we have the number 29 and it reduces to number 11 and yeah 11 number it's like master number maybe for some of you a master number 11 or maybe you're seeing a lot of 11 11 i feel like for this pile you are already seeing a lot of signs messages from spirit but it's not manifesting in your life yet okay so that's one thing i'm seeing here so wait it will manifest don't worry so it's like you're getting a lot of signs you're getting a lot of synchronicities but you're not seeing that manifestation yet because there is something that you need to uncover that's why you're not seeing it yet yes if you're seeing certain signs and you know that something good is coming your way it is going to come for sure yes uh, be happy align yourself with that uh, good energy good vibration because yes what you want you will get it that's for sure but there is like this is your dream and this is here but there is this excitement is there right so here in this excitement there is something more that you want to find about yourself and that's why you're not able to it's like you're in this bridge and this is the other side and you want to get into this other side but right now you're not ready to cross right now you're not seeing something that's why you're not getting this dream it's in your vibration Yes, you are not doing anything wrong. That's what uh, there is group number two. But there is something that you will be understanding about yourself with this Labrador right what is like some sort of magic that is within you, some sort of gifts that you have that you haven't yet uncovered it yet. Maybe it can be because of uh, uh, the because you don't have that confidence in yourself, or maybe because you have to heal some sort of past wounds. So that's why it is taking time here. Okay, so here yes. one thing for sure i'm getting is like your dreams are going to be manifested if you have goals if you have been working on your goals if you have been uh, work, uh, doing manifestations if you have been writing your goals every day and believing in it yes those dreams that you have is definitely going to happen that's for sure there is no don't no doubt you don't have to doubt but there is something that you need to uncover there is some sort of in, something about yourself uh, you need to uncover that's why i feel like there is a distance between your dreams and right now here you're not reaching here because there is something that needs to be uncovered and the thing that you're going to uncover is going to be full of magic uh, that is something that is going to surprise you is about yourself some sort of skills that you are never expecting about yourself is coming out it's coming out give it time guys give it time your dreams like you have goals you have plan for yourself but when you will know something about yourself some sort of treasures about yourself this plan and goals that you have for yourself is also going to change yeah that's why spirit is telling you there is more to you yes the goals that you have for you it will be big right now it's a very big goal for you guys and you are very, you want to achieve it no matter what 
but when you will discover this about this thing about yourself now your goals are changing and this is something bigger than you expect because you are more than what you think you are there is more to discover it's like a amazon package yeah you thought that you have opened all the packages no but there are there are two more left that you need to open and understand and yeah that's the message here so it's like some sort of mystery is there of course this mystery is uh, different for everyone but this is something about yourself that you are going to discover and you when you are going to discover it it's going to be so amazing and you will be like oh my god universe is awesome yeah i feel like for pile number 2 you already believe in the universe the signs you're receiving you know that it's coming but there is something more amazing coming that will be very unexpected guys and spirit is definitely not showing me here what is it because it's a general reading and it can be different for everyone so but it's definitely something inside of you that is going to come out it's something within you it's not something outside of you right yeah okay oh we have isolation yes you need the spirit you need the spirit so yes i feel like some sort of isolation is coming for you guys it is not a lonely period this is a period where you will be reflecting a lot of things about yourself you will be actually getting aligned to your heart center and you will know what are you who you are you why are you magic what you can, what else can you do it's like you are understanding your own capabilities in this isolation period you are understanding your own heart you're communicating with your heart you're trusting like your intuition is getting better and better and better i feel like that for some of you you need to start doing some sort of clairvoyant uh, exercises like there are so many videos there where, where they will ask what is in my hand like check that kind of videos i feel like your intuition has been very much good and you will actually say the correct correct thing right so yes so yes don't worry about this isolation period yes it it can be lonely you feel like it's going to be lonely no this will be the this will be like you will not be lonely you will be feeling that you are with people like you will be feeling so good because you are in touch with the universe right so sometimes people feel like when we are isolated we will not feel happy but it's like the exact opposite is happening when you are in isolation you are going to find more about yourself you will be actually enjoying your life more okay and there is this white color with this like it's the white in this deck white colors they have shown in a gray but it's like in this deck if you see it's a white color and white color is the symbolism of peace right in this loneliness you're going going to find so much about yourself that you you're going to feel that peace it's like the hermit energy where you're learning more about yourself you're getting aligned with spirit you're becoming more closer to divine right your intuition is getting better you're opening yourself to more magic more mystery it's like a box is yet to be opened you don't know inside what is it is but you will be knowing it as you are going through this journey you will know what's inside the box it's 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 coming out don't worry hmm we are talking about a journey yes this is something new guys this is something new this is something something that you don't know about yourself and this is going to take you to a new journey like the ship right ship is all about journey from one destination to another so you are on the, uh, on this uh, yeah as i told your dream destination is here you are in this journey and while you're moving towards this dream destination you will be discovering a lot of places a lot of things that you never knew existed so you like you're stopping in middle of a journey and going out and seeing new new things and it's like you are also like you're going you are in this journey you are understanding a lot about yourself you are understanding who you are as a person yeah there is more to me there is more gifts there are more talents and that is going to come out and you will be like while you are reaching the destination you will be complete new person and as uh, Uh, your goals will be different so it's like uh, something better and bigger is on the way i feel like that more yeah it's like something more is coming and that's why the dreams that you have the hopes like the hard work that you're doing for something is not paying off it's because something more better is there for you guys that's the reason here okay so spending time with yourself like getting in touch with your heart is the thing that you need to do right now okay so yeah there are so many places that you haven't visited uh you're going to visit it's like there's so many things about yourself that you don't know you're going to understand in this journey so yes while you reach the destination you will be like oh god i'm now i'm not even i don't want to reach destination i just want to enjoy the journey you will be like that okay <laughs> Let's see. We have the hanged man. Yes, you are waiting for something. You're like hanged man. Again, hanged man is a pause, right? But at the same time, they are seeing things from a different 
perspective because the view is changed it's upside down right again the upside down the view is completely changed so right now you have a view you have a vision for yourself you're working towards it but with this hanged man things are changing you're getting into this isolation you're working on yourself you're mo knowing more about more about yourself you're unpacking more about yourself and that's when things are shifting inside of you so the goals the dreams that you have right now is definitely going to change yeah <laughs> that's the thing that's the unexpected your goals your dreams are not going to be the same it's going to change the way you view things are going to be changed yeah it's like i mean i'm even getting like your ego is going to dissipate a lot yeah sometimes we have some sort of ego that that is also going to dissipate a lot right you're actually getting in touch with your soul purpose, your divine purpose, why you are here. You will be understanding a lot about yourself. It's like, that's the journey for you guys. Understanding more about yourself, understanding more about your power, who you are as a person, what are your gifts. Maybe you know certain gifts about yourself, but that's not you. It's not complete. It's just incomplete. There is so much more to you. Group number two. So hang on tight there. You are going to... You are going to... Like again, nine of cups, you will fulfill the wishes that you have right now. But this is something bigger. This is more than your wishes. This will make you so happy, so fulfilled. You, you, because you don't know it exists. It's something that you don't know it exists now, right now. That is, that is, that, that is the thing. It's like it's, you, will have, you will be able to fulfill your dreams. That's for sure, as I told. But it's like your dreams are actually changing. So... But the thing that you are going, the journey that you're going, it will be so much, so much satisfactory, so much of happiness will be there. Yeah, it's like emotionally you will be so satisfied. Sometimes when we uh, when we uh, search for materialistic thing, we get one thing, then we go on for another thing. Like we got the car, now we want the house, then we want this thing, then we th want this thing. It, th it never stops and it's okay to want for material materialistic things. But this is more than that. It's like you will, whenever you get this thing, whatever you, you know you know about yourself, this will be so satisfactory that you're not going to aim for a lot of things. Like you will be aiming for a good life, comfortable life, and you're going to get it. But at the same time, you will not be focused on these materialistic things. You're not going to uh, lose yourself for this materialistic thing. You know, sometimes because we want to reach there, we get a lot of stress, we think too much, and we lose our peace. For you guys, what is happening, you're going on is this journey where you're going to accomplish all the things you want. At the same time, you're not going to con like, I want this, I want this, I want this. No, that is, that is not going to be there. You know, I want it, this is mine. And when the time will come, it will come to me, right? You know that it will come. Like this kind of energy is going to be inside of you, right? So very, e like you will be easily manifesting things because you're going to be in this is relaxed energy because yeah that's what you're learning so yeah you're going to be powerful manifestors making all your wishes come true but at the same time you're going to do something that you're born to do you're going to do something that you that you make that makes you happy as well as it is going to help other people as well yeah so this is a very beautiful journey that is coming your way and you don't know it yet See, maybe for some of you, you're caught up on a goal. You're thinking about that goal all the time. You're stressing about that goal right now. You know, whatever I do, this goal is not happening. But as you move forward in this journey, there are so many beautiful things you will be uncovering. Yeah. Look again, we have the six of cups here, right? And what the most important thing I'm getting is like the roots. The roots are so big. Yes, this is something something in your past, like past life. I feel like this is, this is some gift of yours that you have is you have accumulated it through your past lives so this is a very strong gift that you're going to uncover and it will make you very happy with this nine of cups this is going to be very unexpected but it is going to make you very 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 happy you'll be like oh my god do i have the skill you're going to surprise yourself so yes again this roots these roots are so strong you might not be seeing the growth yet but these roots are strong guys you're not going to fall this tree is not going to fall 
yeah you're not you're not going viral you're not going uh, at the fast pace that you want we all want to go on a fast pace but that's not happening here right it's very slow it's very exhausting right now so as you move forward in your journey you will be actually be thankful for all the moments in your life you will be actually th thankful for all the slow energy moving energy in your life so right now if you're frustrated right now if you're feeling like things are not moving forward you know uh, in the future you will be like very happy that this went very slowly because there was so much so much you had to uncover and you know if you got that thing very quickly you would not have that perception that you have now that you didn't have that meaning like deep meaning that you know about things you will not have at that because if, if it was very fast you will not have that so you will be very thankful so something from the past life i'm getting here for you guys you have this gift that is that is coming very very uh, yeah it will be fast don't worry it will be fast this journey is coming very soon here but yeah but this journey will be a little isolating it's this is the journey that you have to take by yourself but at the same time you will be enjoying it very 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 much okay see so, yeah so something regarding your past life some sort of gifts that's what the unexpected is here it's about your gift guys this reading <laughs> yeah the gift and you're very protected you're very cared we don't know what is in the box we don't know right now we don't know but we know that there is a gift coming and as you focus on your journey as you move in your journey you will be seeing and again the red color is that red is very high like high vibrational i feel like very energetic color i'm getting very passionate color you know if someone is wearing red we will look at them it's very attractive right the, like the red lipstick if someone wears a red lipstick in their face it's the one that highlights the most right so yeah some people even say we don't need makeup if we have this red color because that's going to show off so yes some sort of gifts that is that is going to be a very strong gift and it is going to change a lot in you you will be understanding a lot about yourself so some sort of gift is definitely coming your way here that is going to again the number 23 reduces to number 5 it's going to change a lot of things in your life but you are very protected with this umbrella there is support for you guys sometimes you will be very overwhelmed as well you don't know what to do now because uh, there is this change in direction but this is going to be an amazing journey as you uncover this gift yes yeah, sir facing something about your past life again this is like bubbling up something about your past this is a gift that you have uh, worked on in your past life but you don't know like when when children are born when they are newborns they know about their past life but as we grow we forget about it and now this this gift of yours is going to surface again you will be understanding a lot about it it's like the bubble it's going to come out <laughs> yeah it's about you it's about your gifts so this is take it slow guys take it slow that's what your spirit guides are telling you it's coming um this will bubble up like for some of you maybe you will have a vision of it or maybe you will have this intuitive feeling that you need to do this maybe you will watch a video and you will be very you will feel very connected to it and uh, yeah that can be the thing so there is definitely a change in direction there is definitely a new journey that you're not expecting that is going to come this is something related to your past life or yeah maybe in your childhood maybe you used to do something with this so maybe you have forgotten that can be also the thing like something with your childhood you used to do it in your childhood you forgot about it and now it's going to resurface again and you will start doing it and it's a new journey it's a beautiful journey seeing things from a very different eye but uh, but at the same time feeling very blessed <laughs> yeah you will be feeling very blessed you will be very happy i feel like that okay <laughs> yeah so that's all i have for group number 2 hope it makes sense i will see you soon bye bye uh, and before that <laughs> my i have uh, 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 my instagram page in the description box as well as the tags that i'm using so watch that i uh, like look at it as well okay bye bye take care so group number 3 it's the hematite crystal for you guys we have the number 26 26 might be an important number and it reduces to number 8 8 number is uh, again an abundant number it's the number with like 
infinity there is no beginning there is no end right so a lot of infinite possibilities are going to be given to you guys okay so i feel like if there is a problem you will be getting a creative solution to it a new idea like sometimes we have certain problems and it's like an idea is coming to solve that problem so that's one thing but when we are up in the thoughts up in the thoughts thinking too much at the same time like a lot of thoughts we don't get these ideas we don't get these creative solutions right so here with this hematite crystal is this is the time to ground your energy to if you have a pet spend time with them okay if you have uh, a person in your life appreciate them uh, more often maybe you are working on some project you are thinking about it a lot you don't know what to do next and you have this person you are not paying attention to them if that is the case paying attention to them uh, Asking them how their day was, complimenting them is something that you need to do more often. So if you have issues with your partner, if there is no romance, like maybe sometimes we are so busy in our daily lives, we don't get time to speak to them. We don't compliment them as we used to do uh, in the early relationships. So if that is the problem in your relationship, if there is a problem, you need to just you need to just ground your energy. And when you ground your energy, when you let go of those thoughts that we don't need, that is when these creative solutions are going to come. So only thing that you need to do is to align yourself to love. The more you're loving yourself, the more you're nurturing yourself, the more love you're going to give. So if we are feeling loved, right, you know, that's the important thing. Why self-love is important? If we love ourselves, if we are good in our body, if we accept our body, we are not comparing ourselves to anyone. We are not looking at their life and their life is this, my life is this. We are not feeling that anger, that frustration anymore, right? We are not thinking, we are not overthinking. We are good. We are being in the present moment. And what happens when we are in the present moment, When we, what happens when we love ourselves, when, when we nurture ourselves, we appreciate the good things that we have in our life. We appreciate more and more and more. We start appreciating here. So for some of you right now, maybe you are in a position where you're overthinking about like why my relationships are not working, why my career is not working, and there is a lot of stress. Maybe there is a pro personal problem that there is no resolution. You're not getting any ideas creative solution so that's why you're here i feel like there is a creative solution to it you will be getting that idea but before that you need to ground your energy you need to let go release all that things that you don't need anymore the thoughts that we don't need anymore in our daily lives right so that's where you need to work so going out in nature sitting there can be helpful or meditating can be helpful or yes concentrating one thing at a time just focusing on one task at a time that's one thing I'm getting. If you cannot do it, listening to music will be very good. Like, or like, yeah, the flowing music, like easy music that nourishes our souls. Not something that is very heavy, that is very hard on our soul, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like someone who has anxiety. It's listening to an anxious song. Like, they're talking about anxiety. It is not going to do any good to them. So listen to songs that are good. That, the, that are high in vibration, that motivate you. Because, and, uh, you know, the words that we use in our daily lives have vibration. Everything is energy, right? So it has a particular vibration. Like uh, there was an experiment that was done with water, uh, one of the scientists, and they used very bad, bad words for certain, uh, for a water, and they crystallized uh, very badly. The shapes were very bad. And when they uh, like, yeah, something like that, yeah, uh, with the, I don't know about the experiment. There is some sort of experiment. When they shared the good good words, kind words, it came out so beautifully. Yeah, something like that. The shapes were very good. When they, yeah, something like that. The, yeah. Again, the plants also, when we talk to them politely, loving, kind words, it grows beautifully. And when we are like giving them bad water and if we are sharing that bad thoughts onto them, it's not going to grow well, right? Yeah. Ah, there is a tradition also. I'm getting, I'm reminded of a tradition. Uh, in that tradition, whenever someone does, they don't kill. What they do is like they will make that person sit in the middle and they will uh, sh tell tell all the bad words to them. Like they are so bad, they are they are good for nothing. And uh, after some days, that person dies because they had so much bad 
bad vibration because it's all the words so sometimes we feel like that words are nothing it's not true guys words matter the words we use to ourselves the words we use to other people all matter right so that's what one thing i feel like you will be you will be actually because this is unexpected you will be seeing how your words are important you will be seeing that kind of event <laughs> happening in your life but one thing you need to ground your energy guys that's very important and when you ground your energy that is when you will get creative solutions okay yeah that is when the balance will come again two and number six number two is all about the balance two two things coming together like sometimes it's like our, our mind and heart having differences and here you're aligning with your heart space and your mind right so there is balance again and two of cups energy is also there six of cups energy so something from your past is uniting that is something i'm seeing here for some of you yeah something that from your past is coming back maybe you thought that will never happen it's ha happening again for some of you maybe an ex is coming back uh and you will be able to resolve the problems with that ex you know if, if it's a bad ex that's not the thing this is very specific for some of you, you used to love this person this person also loved you a lot but there because of some sort of differences because of that surroundings maybe you were not together but now this person is coming back back in the rom romance is blossoming something like that is there this is going to be unexpected here yeah oh wow we have peace like choosing peace peace over uh, fear that's what one thing that you need to do and you should do and i feel like you will be doing <laughs> yeah okay there is a lot of peace coming your way you will be grounded a lot of peace is coming your way if things look troubling right now if you're you're up in your thoughts for some of you i'm even getting like you're going if you're going through a phase of uh, anxious thoughts you will be coming back to those peaceful thoughts you will be coming back to yourself so if you're lately not feeling yourself right now if you're feeling very fearful uh, very disturbed thinking about a lot of things the good thing is like what you don't see coming is like you're coming back to peaceful energies okay so but you need to nurture yourself you need to focus on yourself do more things that you love take it slow guys you don't have to do it in one day you don't have to worry about get worried about at that go from one task to one task, task task to another just small small tasks do it you know it will be very helpful or if you can have a journal where you can write whatever ta ta task you have to do today and just uh, just complete little task you don't have to do everything but you know at the end of the day when you complete like five tasks of the, out of 10 you will be feeling accomplished right because you at least did five tasks so it's like that that's that's what i'm getting here and if you're someone who's not feeling like getting up from bed you don't want to do anything it's going to change soon there's a lot of peace coming here okay yeah oh wow we have romance and we have the number 33 and 33 also reduces to number six and if we see in the number six six of cups is a very soulmate energy six of pentacles is an energy where we are getting every like like there is like balance there if we see in the relationship also there is balance right our six of pentacles then we have six of swords we see that mentally if person is feeling bad they are getting better right mm. And then we have six of wands is about victory right right so i'm getting the sixes of the tarot right so yeah so there is some sort of victory that you thought it's not going to happen is going to happen so you, maybe for some of you you are like mentally you will not feel like you will not be feeling good like for some of you getting out of that mental trouble getting out of a of that thoughts is a victory and that's going to happen you're going to ground your energy that's what i'm getting here maybe you don't know that will happen but yes you are going to be okay you will be getting out of this uh, thoughts that you don't you know that you don't need it for some of you i'm even getting getting out of a depressed depression yeah, dep if you have been feeling very anxious you're getting out of that as well here yeah again romance two things are coming together so for some of you your heart and your mind is coming together aligning two things are saying the same thing so you know where you need to go so that's there there is no conflict there and again if there has been conflict in your in your relationship again we are because it's romance maybe in your romantic relationship if there was conflict you didn't know what to do so you're getting a creative solution and because of it you're you're applying it and you're getting a lot of peace in this relationship for some of you meeting someone from your past and this relationship is blossoming that is also there okay yeah 
Maybe for some of you, you don't want someone from past and it's okay. Maybe this is not for you. But for some of you, you know that this is the good person because of the circumstances. At that time, the relationship didn't flourish. But if that is the case, I feel like this relationship is getting a second chance and it's going to flourish. So maybe you don't see it yet, but that can happen. And it's going to bring a lot of peace here. Yeah. So it's like you thought that you missed the chance, but you're getting a second chance here. Yeah, for some of you, yes, that's the thing. Second chance is something. So some of you, it's like, uh, I, I think I'll never come back to myself. I'll never feel myself again. You lost that, but it's not going to be like that. You're getting a second chance and you're feeling life again. You're feeling that happiness again. You you know, sometimes you feel in life that I'll never feel happy like this again. Maybe you thought that and that's changing. You're going to feel that happiness again here, okay? So yeah, I'm getting like if, there are two things that are apart, it's coming together. That's the one thing here. We have Hermit. Then we have the Emperor. Oh, we have the Empress. Look, the Emperor and the Empress, they are meant to be together. But with this Hermit card, they were alone. They were isolated. They were in different parts. Now they are coming together, right? Yeah, maybe because of certain insecurities that you have about yourself, like this, the hermit, you know, uh, they are putting themselves in the sh shell. And because of it, you lose that opportunity at that time. Now you're getting an opportunity here to come back together with this person. And yes, the emperor and the empress. Yes, for this, with this romance, definitely this can be about a relationship, a relationship from the past for some of you but for other it can be like you had this person in your mind for so long but you didn't have the courage to say but again you're saying seeing this person now you're going to get out of your shell and say this and things are coming together so definitely look this looks like a very very awesome relationship if you're already in relationship already you're with this person you know this is the one for me and that there is little bit issues between you two take some time out isolate yourself listen to your heart and you will get the creative ideas and you will be back with this person don't worry your relationship is going to be okay okay and again you need to compliment this person maybe for some of you because of your time you're not able to feel that romance in your life and all if there is like a romance have died in your life it's coming back okay so like after 10 years of getting married having kids maybe there is no romance it's coming back maybe this person will initiate something and you will be feeling very good you will be feeling like you're on the honeymoon stage again so there is something like that or for some of you i'm even getting a business idea that you will be too doing look again okay, the trees are so colorful like the pink and the trees are so strong right and so there is this new beginning happening for some of you it can be about a um a business idea that you two will be doing together it's going to come out very strong for some of you yeah you two will be starting by yourself you two will be doing it by yourself and it's going to grow with this hermit and interestingly we have the three major arcanas here, guys. We have the hermit, the emperor, and the empress. And the emperor is so, so powerful. They are someone who knows what they want to do. And the empress is a very abundant person, right? Uh, they are the, like, when we, when we see the characters of sticks of the four cunes, like cune of swords, cune of wands, cune of pentacles, and cune of, uh, cune of uh, wands, King of Cups, right? These four characters is there in this Empress. That's why she's an Empress. She has all the characteristics. She knows uh, what her heart wants. She knows what's the best logical decision she need to make. She is very confident. She, she knows her boundaries. She knows who to let in. Her intuition is strong, right? So she's an abundant person. So again, these all qualities are there in you both, right? And that will lead to something powerful, like making something powerful out of it, creating something. Like you will be start, you will start doing something as a secret, now it's going to flourish. Yeah, look, this is going to be a major change, guys. If you are uh, worried about your finances, don't worry because there's some, some sort of uh, increase in your finances. A lot of money I'm seeing here. <laughs> yeah, it's like start of a new idea. When you are in this isolation, you're getting this new new idea. But right now, maybe you have this new idea. You're overthinking about this idea. 
because it's in you know the tortoise in this shell they're not ready to come out of this idea because they don't know where it's going to go so they're keeping with you know they're thinking about this idea stressing about this idea here get out and take this idea take this leap of faith because there is so much so much abundance guys for some of you it's like you have you love this person you like this person because of your shyness because you're worried what this person will say you're not sharing these feelings with this person understand that you're the empress or you're the emperor you're meant to be with this person so share your feelings maybe this person feels the same and you don't know that right now so yes so if you have a crush on someone if you know that this is the one for you you have been like you you lost your chance once this is the second chance you're getting use this chance guys don't let this go <laughs> don't let this go because of your inability to come out of the box here yes this is going to take a lot of courage but don't lose this opportunity there is some opportunities for some of you as well here that is unexpected but you will be getting this opportunity you will be getting the second chance but at the same time if you're going to be in your shell guys if you're going to be like no 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 i cannot i cannot go out of my house right now i cannot attend the party if you're going to be in that sense you're going to lose this opportunity as well you will be seeing that slipping away from your hands so don't let that happen here okay so you are yes it's up to you whether you will take this opportunity or not right so I'm sure that it will, right? So don't let any of your negative thoughts, any of your belief system come in between and uh, because of it, only you will sabotage yourself. Don't let that happen here because this is a major change. So that's why maybe you're worried because this is going to be a major change. So can I take that? Yes, go for it. Go for it, guys. That's what your spirit guides are telling. All is connected. Yeah, so for some of you, something from your past is coming. So don't be afraid of changes, guys. Don't be afraid of changes. Yes, again, sometimes we try to hold on to things too tightly and understand nothing in life is permanent impermanence right so everything is temporary guys so the feelings that you have right now is also temporary that is also going to change you're going to get stable in your thoughts and yes sometimes some things happens in the past that doesn't mean that is going to repeat in the future so don't hold on to that too tightly and maybe because of it you're not coming out of your shell don't let that happen take this leap of faith yes the season change as after the winter the spring comes yes for you also the spring will come and again your past and your present your future everything is connected so something in your past that happened at that time it didn't happen because the timing was not right now you're getting this chance take it take it don't try to be like you don't try to control everything you know you know sometimes it's okay to get into the unknown as well you cannot control anything so release all the fears and take this opportunity it's up to you guys group number three. Oh wow we have love again so of course for some of you this is like love thing for some of you in a romantic relationship starting something new as a power couple <laughs> starting something new yeah and I'm getting Kuan Yin. Yes, she's a she's a goddess of compassion, love. So loving more of you, loving yourself more, doing everything with love is something that you need to embody. You need to come into this energy of love and light because you're the creatures. You were when you were born, you were born with this light. You're this light being. So understand that. And love yourself nurture yourself as you're doing it come out of your shell come out of your comfort zone you have so much of so much of knowledge don't try to perfect a thing and then only i will take action no while you're learning take action guys and then you will see the magic unfold right so don't try to control everything changes are important every anything that is constant is change there is a lot of positive changes you happening in your love life in your career i can see that but only through love not through negative thoughts, not through fear, it is not going to happen. You have to give that love. With love, start doing it and you will see that is going to blossom. Like these trees, it's going to blossom. You're get, going to get your abundance here. So that's all I have for group number three. Hope it made sense. And I feel like love is your love, <laughs> your language, okay? Anything that you do with love, it's going to grow. That's all you need to understand. And you will see that. When you do it with love, it is going to work out. Even if it takes time, it will work out, guys. Doubt, fear is not going to work out. So that's all I have for. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. The timestamps. Timestamps? Why I talked about timestamps? Maybe you're very much caught up in the time. Don't be okay. And again, in the description box, my Instagram page is there. And as well as the... Uh, 
my my text description and i want to say one more thing why i'm doing your reading i'm feeling very very sleepy very sleepy the energy is very sleepy i'm getting very tired i don't know maybe you're very tired very exhausted so have have a good sleep guys and um, maybe uh, doing some sort of rituals like uh, having a salt bath maybe there are energy vampires around you who are taking your energy without you realizing so protect your energy guys because i'm getting I'm, i'm feeling really very tired i never feel like this after doing a reading but there are some readings that feel very energetic but in this reading i'm really feeling very low so so yeah nurturing yourself taking care of yourself should be very important for you guys group number 3 okay bye bye take care